La Pista Nuda. The Wood Blew It. Probably can't see it in the photo or the video, but this mushroom is very much purple. And it has a very light tan spore print. There is a look-alike that looks almost identical, which is a Cortinarius species, a cort, but it has a little spiderweb-like veil that runs between the cap and the stem, and it has a rust brown spore print. This has a very light tan spore print. And it is the wood bluet Lapista nuda. The poisonous lookalike is a Cortinarius species, a cort, and it has a dark brown, rust brown spore print, and it has a spiderweb like veil that runs between the cap and the stem. I find these growing in spruce. You also find them in oak leaves or just any deciduous tree leaves in the fall. Usually after, usually right around the time of the first frost. And another mushroom I find that grows right in with them, in the spruce that is, is the King Bolit, Boletus edulis, variety edulis. It is a very robust mushroom that can get quite large I found them with caps nearly a foot in diameter. But the best ones are the ones that are nice and firm, hard, almost hard like a nut, and they have a nutty flavor. The King Bolete has white pores instead of gills when it's young and those pores will turn to a yellow and then to a olive green drab olive it also has a olive drab spore print which is sort of a greenish brown spore print it has white flesh inside and it typically has a chestnut colored cap but there is another variety which is called Pinacola Pina, Pina Cola which has a dark cola colored cap uh, very dark brown almost like uh, Coca-Cola but they are both very good edibles and when it comes to King Bolites I always dry mine and then I rehydrate them uh, into a soup or my favorite is uh, Italian dishes any type of Italian dishes uh, they go really good with that but they're an excellent edible and if you get them after the first frost you will find they have very few bugs a lot of times when you cut the stem 
you'll look at the base of the stem and you'll see all kinds of little holes. Well, that's where worms have entered the mushroom. But once the frost comes, those uh, flies that lay the worms, they must go dormant because you don't find uh, wormy mushrooms after that. We had our first frost three days ago and it's October 6th, 2010. I've been finding these mushrooms in this particular spot for four years. I'm going to go ahead and look around and see if I can't find some more. Can you see any mushrooms? I can. How about now? Can you see them now? How about now? Can you see them now? <laughs> I can see them in the viewfinder. I'm going to go over and pick them. I love spruce trees. These are Norway spruce, by the way. They have really long pine cones, about six inches long. That's an easy way to identify them. But it can be a trick getting in through them at times to pick mushrooms. <clears throat> These are probably one of my favorite mushrooms. Get my knife here. Ooh, nice and firm. Here's another one. These here are gem studded puffball mushrooms. I'm pretty sure the video won't show it, but they have little little gem studs on the top of them. And uh, as far as puffball goes, they're pretty good edible. If they're nice and solid and firm and white inside, and these are, you just need to make sure that you're not picking amanitas. There's three. I got another in the bag. I have a couple bluets in the bag and a couple gem studded puff balls in there. I'm going to keep looking and see what else I can find.